Well, hello everybody, how are you today? Welcome to another Facebook Friday, another Frilici Friday. I'm so excited to be with you guys today. Now, last week I had a problem with trying to figure out whether people were on or not, so as soon as you get on, if you would comment and say hello um, so that I can see. Okay, good, all right, hi Marianne, good, things are working. All right, I've got, there's like a little eyeball that tells me how many people are on. So, okay, good, good, good. Thanks, Marianne, I appreciate that. I don't know what, I thought maybe, you know, Facebook is always making changes, so I thought maybe last week some changes had happened, because I feel like other people, I, I um, watched a couple of other gals' Facebook Live videos, and I was like, you know, they seem to have some trouble, too, so I thought maybe it was like a whole Facebook-wide thing, but I don't know, maybe not. Hi, Kim, good morning. Hi, Sandra, how are you? Uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are all having a great day. Hi, Nikki. Good. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. So excited to be here. Yeah, I'm excited to have you. Oh, I've, I'm like, oh, I got a hair on my lip or something. Oh my goodness. Sorry about that. <laughs> like, no, it's not really hair growing off my chin, right? I mean, they do happen, but, <laughs> uh, so anyway, hopefully everybody's great. Um, thank you for commenting. I'm glad. I feel like things are like right on track, which I really appreciate. Um, so yeah, let's see what's going on. Um, well, my daughter Lily is going to be 14 years old next week on the 30th. Oh my gosh. That's another one of those. It's really hard to believe, you know, again, you start kind of reliving the memories of when your kids were born. She wasn't quite as early as Cade was. Um, she was actually born at 32 weeks though. So that's pretty early by most people's standards. Um, but I was being watched. Uh, yes, brighter in your room today. Yeah, I looked at last week's Facebook Live video. It was really dark. Well, I got my light bulb changed too. I was thinking about that and like, people were probably like, seriously, Amy, can't you change a light bulb? But it's kind of an involved one, and I was like, seriously, if this, if I get up there and I drop it and break it or something, like, you know, then it'd be like all over the floor right here. So I, I was like, I'm not even bothering you with it because it happened like right before I turned Facebook out live on last week. So yeah, I'm glad I got up there. I got the light bulb changed. It really wasn't that difficult. Um, but yeah, so we're brighter today, which is awesome. So yeah. Anyway, so yeah, I was talking about Lily. Um, so 32 weeks is a huge cutoff though like she could breathe like fully on her own she was on oxygen just for a little bit when she was first born but yeah that like everything's pretty well developed she was still pretty tiny she was uh four four pounds eight ounces um but she was huge compared to Cade. um so yeah so i don't know your mind just always i think maybe as a mom you go back to reliving that moment when your kids were born right each year when you celebrate their birthday so i'm just she's an amazing daughter and i'm just blessed to have her honestly um i can't really take a lot of credit i think she's just she's got a beautiful personality all on her own that you know, I just, I really love her a lot. So yeah, I'm excited to celebrate her birthday with her next week. Um, so with that being said, that her birthday is on Thursday the 30th. Hello. Um, oh, Wendy, I'm going to have to check. Um, did I get your email? I don't know because I was at work um, yesterday until late and then came home and finished prepping for Facebook Live. So now that you're saying that, I probably have not checked email. And thank you, Marianne. Um, happy birthday to Lily. I appreciate that. So I'll get back to you. Whatever your email was, um, Wendy, I will get back to you. And hi, Joelle. How are you? We missed you at class this month. Hopefully you and Christy can make it to class in um, September already it's going to be. So, okay. So back to what I was saying. Um, so next weekend is Labor Day weekend, and there is a chance that we may be going out of town for a little bit um, for kind of Lily's birthday and so on. And we have, plans have not been solidified at all, but my point is there's a chance that we won't do Facebook Live next Friday. I will post on our Stamp Studio group right here um, once I know for sure what's going on. But so just in case, um, you know, there's a chance next Friday, 1130, I won't be here, so I don't want you to you know, make plans to be here and then I'm not showing up. So I'll keep you posted, okay? Um, oh, I have to show you guys too. Okay, so I'm gonna get, this is like scary for me, get super close to the camera because <laughs> I have to show you. Did you guys see I posted my, um, my post earlier this week about that necklace? That's what I'm trying to show you is my necklace. I think this is um, maybe a hibiscus flower. Can you guys tell? I'm not super good with the names of flowers. So somebody that's good with that, maybe you can confirm that with me. But what I was saying was so cool was, 
Um, so we got this necklace, which I absolutely loved and wore it all the time on um, our incentive trip to Hawaii a couple of years ago. And I, like I said, I wore it probably more in the summer than the winter, but I wore it all the time. And then I started to think, gosh, it's getting kind of, you know, maybe I should clean that. So I dunked it in like my regular little jewelry cleaner kind of a thing. And when I pulled it out, it was black. Like that's when I realized, oh, that was like real silver and you're not supposed to put that in chemicals like that. And like literally you can't even like take the little cloth and like wipe it all off. Like it just basically ruined the necklace. So I had, it's one of those I had been meaning to get in touch with somebody at Stampin' Up to find out like, where did you guys order that from? I want to order another one because I loved it so much. And kind of time went by and then when we were in Alaska, I was at the, um, the base camp, like our hospitality room. Um, hi. Karen, how are you? I'm glad you're able to get on. Yay, that's awesome. So anyway, um, in Alaska, I met the hospitality room and um, all of the women, me, well not, well, all of the um, Stampin' Up! event people are there to kind of help make sure everything runs smoothly. So I happened to ask one of the gals that was working the one day when I thought of it, like, hey, I wanted to get another one of these necklaces. Would it be possible to get the um, information about how to do that? And um, she was like, you know, I think I might have an extra one of those necklaces back in Salt Lake City. So when she got back to Salt Lake City, she checked her little stash, I guess, and found one and sent it to me. And I just thought, that was so cool of her to do that because obviously she didn't have to do that. I'm sure she could have pulled out, you know, the information about, um, you know, where they got them from and forwarded that on to me. So I just, Stampin' Up! is one of those amazing companies to be a part of. And that is like one small and yet for me, huge example of that. Um, they just, they treat their um, customers and their demonstrators so well. They have so much um, respect for everyone really and treat everyone with such respect and and so generous too so I'm just I'm like I've been wearing it every day since I got it this week I love it so and then I have to show you this is a cute card um, which I realized okay I got to show you in um, the um, catalog too but yes I'm glad I got it replaced too thank you Miriam so this is the cute little thank you card that she sent also and I was like well what card is that? I don't recognize. And it's like, I don't know if you can tell, it's like a little um, note card kind of a thing. <laughs> yes, the this is the one reason I love Stampin' Up! Because yes, they stand behind everything. Yes, it's such an amazing company. You guys are all, you're on board. You know what I'm talking about. So then Kelly just wrote, she says, Amy, it was great seeing you in Alaska. I hope this little surprise brightens your day. Hugs, Kelly Maxfield. She's um, Stampin' Up! event. She's kind of like the main gal there. So she's the one that knows like... Um, so the way I understand it, these incentive trips that we do each year... Um, like so what are we right now we went to Alaska so this year um, well next year we're going to Greece so they always do like a trial run of the trip the year before so a group of those women men whoever events people um, they all went to Greece on the cruise like this summer to kind of scope it out and get all the groundwork laid and make sure everything's good to go. Um, and so, yeah, they always know like a year or two. I don't, I can't remember exactly, but I just thought that was cool. I didn't realize like they do like kind of a full like trial run of our incentive trip the year before. It's a year or maybe two. I don't know. It feels... Anyway, so I just think that's really cool. So yeah, so maybe, I don't know, maybe they've already gone to Maui. Maybe it is two years. I don't know. I'm not really good with all my details, but I just know they do a trial run of the trip. And I learned that when we were in Thailand because they did like a trial run of the Thailand trip um, that we went on last summer. So they kind of, you know, get all the details worked out. But yeah, so this card, I'm sorry, I'm always flitting all over the place. Um, I have to show you because I didn't know. Did I... Did you guys see that very well? Super like beautiful. It's almost, it looks, it's not a succulent behind there. You know how we had that stamp set that was so popular. Um, but it kind of looks like it with the colors, I guess. Um, but here, let me show you in the catalog. Cause I was kind of wondering where did that cute little note card come from? And it is on page seven of the annual catalog. It's called the Notes of Kindness Card Kit. And then they actually have a refill for it too. So this is one of our um, kits that comes with everything that you need, including the stamp set. So now I'm like, I kind of passed by this 
in the when I flip through it in the catalog but now of course I've gotten one live and can see it in person so there's the kit right there you can see my thank you card that I just showed you and then here is the stamp set and then all of the other pieces that come in the kit so yeah pretty awesome and like I said now it's on my list of things to get and and have on display down at the studio because I've had the kit that I bought like last last year on display for forever I realized so I may have to get this kit and this one will be the next one that goes on display better late than never that's like my theory in life <laughs> honestly um okay so let's do our drawing for you guys remember last week um yes you're right so much to see in the annual catalog we were talking about that Marianne uh, that like oh my gosh so September I don't I think it's the fourth it's not the first but September 4th maybe um, customers can start ordering out of the holiday catalog and I feel like this way every year that like oh my gosh we just got the huge beautiful new annual catalog and then like after holiday time then it's like celebration and the occasions catalog so we really only have like June July and kind of barely August, because as demonstrators, we've been able to order holiday catalog stuff the whole month of August, too. So then you really have June and July to, like, really concentrate on the holiday catalog. So, or I'm sorry, the annual catalog, because in the holiday catalog, you're playing with that stuff. So, whew, yeah, and it's such a big book, too. So there's a lot to take in. Um, so I'm continuing to enjoy it and will throughout the year as well. But there's always lots of new stuff to show everybody. So... In the meantime, this is back from our annual catalog, that awesome, can you see that? Mm, I don't know if you can. I love the stripes in it, but the Coastal Cabana Striped Ribbon. So one entry for commenting and three entries if you share the video, which I love and so, so, so appreciate. Um, I'm really uh, trying to reach out to more and more people and you guys help me do that with your shares. So, you know, it's wonderful as a small business owner um, to have that support from your customers and friends um, to, you know, get your name out there. I really, really appreciate that. So, um, oh, Kim, she wants to know if the In Color Club order came in yet. Uh, yeah, you know what? I, I, I think it's, um, yeah, it came in. I was going to say it's on my porch, but no, it's inside. came last night, so I'm going to put that together, and I'll let you know as soon as it's ready. Okay, so, yeah, it'll be, I'll, I'll let you know. Okay, so here we go. Let me do the drawing for, I feel like they're all like stuck together. So, okay, make sure I have just one. Oh, it's folded in half, so I don't even know whose name is on here. Big surprise, drum roll, Joyce! Joyce Swan, yay! Oh my goodness, so my good friend Joyce, she's been here with us in Michigan all summer, and today she is driving with her family down to her son's house in Alabama. So she's probably not even watching right now, hoping and wishing that she could get her phone out and watch on the long drive from Michigan to Alabama. So Joyce, congratulations when you get to see this. That'll be fun. So I will send that with your first package down to Alabama. So congratulations, Miss Joyce. Thank you so much for your comments and your shares, ladies. I appreciate that. So um, this week, do you want to know what we're going to give away? Uh, we have the metallic pearls and it is this like teeny weeny little pack of pearls so we've got the gold pearls and then the silver ones are behind it and it's funny because I happen to look on here like how many are in this package there are 242 pearls like you can't even really believe that there are that many so that means there are 121 gold and 121 silver pearls. So in that teeny weeny little package are a ton of pearls. And these are gonna be awesome for your holiday projects. I have already seen a ton of uses um, for the gold and the silver little metallic um, pearls. You know, you can put like three or four of them on your card and you've still got a ton more left for other cards. So. One entry for commenting and three entries for sharing. Just make sure you uh, put some kind of a comment in with your share also. So that will we'll draw for that on the next, oops, I dropped that, on the next Facebook Live. Sorry, I'm back. <laughs> okay, um, so I have to give, let me make sure, I think I've, I haven't skipped anything. Yep, okay, so one of our inspired stampers her name is sandy meletsky i think i'm saying your name right Sandy. if you watch let me know if i'm saying that correctly or not um she 
she's like rocking it out. So she just bought the starter kit in March during celebration. She reached her first quick start level, which is basically having $900 in sales in her first full three months. She reached that a couple months ago, I think maybe back in May, and got 5,000 flex points from Stampin' Up. And now she's already reached the next level, $1,800 in sales in her first full six months. And she didn't even take six months. I think it was really only like five, five and a half months. So she has reached $1,800 in sales. So she gets another 10,000 flex points from Stampin' Up. Plus, because she got to $1,800 in sales, she has um, uh, promoted to Bronze Elite, which then you get another 5,000 flex points when you promote. So she has gotten like 20,000 flex points from Stampin' Up, which depending on if she's done other things um, to get points, she those points can be redeemed for like $150, $180 in free products. So that is outstanding. Plus, even better, when you reach Bronze Elite at $1,800 in sales, you get 25% off of all of your orders. Or if you're selling, you earn 25% off of everything that you sell. So in six months, actually less than six months time, she has already reached that. So congratulations, Miss Sandy, that is awesome. We don't have too many people that do that, but man, she's on fire right now. So whatever you're doing, Sandy, keep it up. I, you're doing a great job. So that is awesome. We just had to say congratulations, Miss Sandy. And let's see. Okay, so we didn't have um, any online orders this week, so unfortunately I get to keep the note cards, the vanilla note cards and envelopes, and the tea room memories and more card pack. And I tell you what, I'm like, I think I need to put some cards together with those because they, I've seen um, stuff online of how cute, you know, literally just take one of the cards from the um, memories and more card pack and put it on a note card and you're good to go. So I don't know, I might have to be doing that soon with all my free time, right? Don't we all <laughs> wish, don't we all wish we had more time to just sit around and craft? Even like, uh, well, probably maybe more so doing this as a business. Like I don't get enough time to just sit around and play. <laughs> so every once in a while I give myself that free moment to do that, but not as much as I would like to be honest. Um, okay, so let's see, what do we wanna give away this week? I have, this is awesome. This is the Seasoned with Kindness Host Stamp Set. So can you guys see this? Um, I love all, well actually, you know what I really love? It's like a little um, thimble or spool of thread or something. I've seen some really super cute things done just even with that little image. And then the cute, super teeny tiny little tags. This one says for you. And then the other little guy says thanks. Um, and then down here we have a little kindness seasons everything and enjoy the goodness of this day. So some awesome sentiments. Sorry, there's a glare there, but really, really, really cool host stamp set. So if you put an online order in between now and next Wednesday, your name is going to go in the drawing to win the Seasoned with Kindness stamp set. I will give you that host code in just a little bit. And you guys know, right, the host code is always on my blog at Gathering Ink with a K, GatheringInkspiration.com. And then um, I always put it in the comments um, after this Facebook Live video. There's always info on what you can win and um, lots of links to other things too. So check the comments. That's a great like quick synopsis of everything that I've talked about. Um, you know, you can get quick links to anything that I've mentioned on Facebook Live. I always put those in the comments, okay? Um, so let's see. One more quick reminder. Um, what are we on? August 24th. So we have one more week of August. Next Friday is the last day of August. So this is your last week to get your bonus days coupons, right? So for every $50 you spend in August, you get a $5 bonus days coupon to spend starting September 1st. So actually, I don't, well, I mean, you could put an order in September 1st, but I'm pretty sure I don't have the holiday catalog right in front of me. I think it goes live on the 4th. So, you know, maybe you might, if you want to order holiday catalog stuff and use your host or your um, bonus days coupons, wait a couple days into September so you can order holiday catalog stuff. Or if you still have a wish list a mile long from the annual catalog, which most all of us do, right? You can on September 1st use those um, bonus day coupons. Um, and there was a question too. Um, so 
September 5th. Thank you, Sandra. I knew I knew it was like the 4th or the 5th. I couldn't remember for sure. So thank you. I appreciate it. I love that you guys help me out and keep me on track. I really, really, really appreciate that. Because sometimes, you know, I don't always want to be running to like grab something to refer to. So I appreciate you guys being quick and handy with the um, info like that. So thank you. Thank you. Um, oh, good Lord. What was I saying? Oh, oh, I know, I know. So bonus days coupons, because someone said, you know, I spent $100 and I only got one email um, with a coupon, but I think what happens is when you spend $100 in product, you only get one email, but it actually lists two coupon codes on there. So be aware of that. It's not that you get a separate email for every single coupon code. Um, so if you spend $200, you're going to get four coupon codes, but they're all going to be in one email. And then just make sure to keep that email in a safe place so that starting on September 1st, um, you can use those. Um, so like when you go to put an online order in, there's like a little um, box that says coupon code. So I think it's easiest to just copy the coupon code right out of your email and then paste it because it's like a I don't know it feels like a 20 digit number letter 20 digits long it's a really long code I guess because they probably give so many of them they had to you know make it super long because otherwise duplicates might end up happening so yeah keep that in mind seven more days to get your bonus day coupons in August um, yeah and then seriously you you get so much free stuff in August now that I'm thinking about it right if you put an online order in a $50 through me right your name goes in the drawing to get the um, the projects we're gonna demonstrate in just a few minutes your name goes in the drawing to win the season with kindness stamp set you always get a free embellishment from me with a $50 order and now you're gonna get a $5 bonus day coupon so amazing okay what is Karen saying I write mine on the back of my Christmas catalogs what do you write on the back of there, Karen? Is that when when they begin? I don't know. Your contact information? That's what you should be putting on the back of your Christmas catalogs is your contact information, Miss Karen. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not sure what you're referring to. So help me out there and then I know. <laughs> My brain, like very limited. It's in and then it's gone. It's in and then it's gone. So I'm like trying to think, what did I just talk about that? that relates to you. So <laughs> sorry guys. Um, okay. So I think we are ready to, I've got some more things I want to show you, but I'm going to move the camera down because it's that whole backwards thing. Somebody told me there's a way to switch it, but then I'm kind of afraid because if I switch it, because right now you can probably see my gathering inspiration stamp studio t-shirt, but it's backwards. So I don't know. There's a way <laughs> to make the words not backwards, I guess, but I, I, I'm not backwards. I don't know. Um, oh, let's see. I didn't catch the name of the Kim. Kim Pline, was that you again? Um, okay, you're going to have to give me more info. But Karen, if you're talking about um, who reached Bronze Elite, that was Sandy Miletsky. And she is a gal that is in Nancy Gulick's downline. So I'm not sure if that's what you're asking about or not. But, but Kim is almost, um, she's really close, I think, to, um, to becoming a qualified recruit. So she's getting there, and then she'll make her way onto Bronze Elite next. So, okay. Um, yep, I'm looking around, scanning, but I think we're good. Okay, so I am going to move the camera down now while I'm still scanning to make sure I've <laughs> covered everything. Ah! Okay, I think we're good though. All right, so turn your heads away for a quick sec here while I move. I think I'm all ready to go. I was going to make sure everything's tight here, but I think we're good. Okay, so give me one sec, ladies. I'm going to move the camera. Okay. I haven't lost you yet. Hopefully that never happens. Okay, you're looking up at the ceiling. We're going to flip down here. Oh, okay, that's what you were asking about, right? Yes, well, that's very sweet of you, Karen. The congrats to Sandy. Thank you. She will appreciate that, too. Okay, so want to just go over briefly the calendar so we're obviously at the end of august um so if you're interested in any of the local events that we have going on here at the gathering inspiration stamp studio next tuesday is our scrapbook and memory keeping classes that's anytime from five until nine and it's always the last tuesday of the month um, that one is one though that I do need an RSVP actually like 10 days in advance because of the way we sell our 12 by 12 cardstock. I tend to not have any extra 
um, <laughs> cardstock in colors anyway, because um, we only s sell for the most part, it's like little sampler packs. So in the brights, you get two of each color. So I have to buy a bunch of packs in order to get enough paper, basically. So that's my point is I don't have lots of extra paper. Um, so yeah, so you probably couldn't come to this scrapbook class, but you could come in September to the last Tuesday in September scrapbook class, which will be on the 25th. Um, but up at the top, the beginning of the month, we have our customer appreciation event. This is something that I love to do every year, like at the end of August, beginning of September. So this year, it's on Wednesday, September 5th, down at the Stamp Studio from 7 until 9. And I am asking because it can get really, you know, you guys that have been to the Stamp Studio, it's not the biggest place in the world. So I'm asking for people to RSVP with time slots, either 7 to 8 or eight to nine. And if there's a little overlap, that's okay. Um, but that helps me, and it helps make it more comfortable for everybody too. So anybody is welcome to come to the customer appreciation event. We are gonna, the biggest thing that you can do there, even if you can't stay, come and grab your holiday catalog if you don't have one already, because I'm gonna have tons of holiday catalogs for everybody to pick up at our customer appreciation event. Then we're gonna be playing with some new holiday catalog product, and I'll have lots more information about other um, events and promotions and things coming up. Um, then the rest of September, we have the Simple Beautiful Card Class. It's always the second Wednesday of the month on September 12th from five until nine, and then two days later on Friday, from one until three. Oh, Wendy's already RSVPing. Okay, good. I will, when I go back through the comments, I will make that note so I know you're coming seven to eight on the fifth. Awesome, thank you. Um, oh yeah, and we had our group gathering just this past week on Tuesday, which is always the third Tuesday of the month. So in September, it will be on September 18th, and that's from 6.30 till about nine. And then, like I said, at the end of the month, the last Tuesday, um, on the 25th is from five until nine, the scrapbook and memory keeping classes. And then my big reason for showing you guys September, because I want to make sure everybody gets this on their calendar. Now we are doing the one day retreat on the last Saturday, uh, September 29th. That is from 9 AM to 9 PM. Basically you come and work on whatever you want all day long. We feed you and spoil you with lots of treats and prizes and gifts and food yummy food all day long. So you basically just get to hang out and play with whatever, whatever you want to do, bring it and do it. And on that same day, I'm also going to do the first holiday stamp a stack class. Um, so that'll be over at um, St. Mary's school here in Alma, just around the corner from the stamp studio, which is handy. Um, and that'll be from nine until nine. And then the stamp a stack class, I usually run like 10 to four or something like that. So you've got a good long time frame, you know, that you can kind of get in. It's obviously not going to take you six hours. Um, what is Sandra saying? Oh, you want to attend all of the gatherings. Oh, <laughs> he, he refuses to move. That's cute. How rude. Yeah, really, Sandra, how rude that he won't relocate to Michigan. Um, I like your idea of me moving out there better, though. I think that seems like maybe a better place to live, to be honest. <laughs> so, you know, I, Lily will be graduated in four years, and then who knows? You never know what could happen, right? Um, okay, so back to holiday stamp and stack. I want to let you guys know, though, that um, I think that I would like to offer a to-go version of that also. So if you can't come live, maybe Miss Sandra, and you want to do a holiday stamp a stack, um, I'm gonna figure out how I can do a to-go kit for that also. So let me know if there's interest in the um, holiday stamp a stack to-go kits, um, and then I'll make sure that that's an option as well. So I'm working on those details. I don't have everything finalized, so I can't I can't give you the full scoop yet, but I'm, it's in the works, so I will know very soon what we're doing. Um, holiday stamp a stack. So <laughs> very cute, Sandra. Um, so okay, so that is what's going on for the next few weeks, right into the beginning of fall. Hard to believe, right? The other thing I just wanted to give a quick reminder about, let me get this in the view, the abstract impressions class to go. Oh, Nikki, do you want to do the holiday stamp a stack class? Is that what you're saying? Maybe let me know if that's what if that's what the me means. <laughs> Um, okay, so abstract impressions class to go. Did I say this already? Today is the last day to RSVP. Okay, got it, Nikki. Thank you um, for this class to go. I'm getting so <laughs> discombobulated, my brain. 
So really quickly, I'm just gonna go over the options in case anybody has not RSVP'd and you would like, you know, if you're interested in this class to go. So option number one is basically everything that is in this tin. You get the Springtime Impressions um, Thinlets, you get the Abstract Impressions Stamp Set, you get a full pack of the Garden Impressions Designer Series paper, and then you get all four of these cards, two of each of them, plus the PDF tutorial, and actually buried back in here, I throw in a pack of the pearls um, if you order option number one, which is $82. Option number two is partial class to go. It does not include the pearls or the springtime impressions thinlets, but you get the stamp set, the designer series paper, and then all four cards, two of each of them, plus the PDF tutorial. That's option number two for $54. Option number three is just the designer series paper and all four cards, two of each of them, plus the PDF tutorial. That option is $33, okay? All three of those options, number one, two, and three, ship priority mail for $7 additional, okay? If you're local to me, you can pick um, studio pickup option, and then you don't have to pay the additional $7 shipping. Option number four, and this is available anytime after um, the deadline, so after today, you could still get the PDF tutorial. That one's always um, available for $15. That gets emailed to you right away. You don't have to wait for... RSVP deadlines or anything like that. And then option number five is for anybody that's in the Inkspired Stampers group, you can get the make and takes, um, two of each of these, all the parts and pieces, to make um, eight cards total at cost. Basically, it's just $12 for the make and take supplies. You order your stamp set and your framelits. I do your die cutting for you, um, but you're gonna wanna order your own stamp set through your own demo ID to get your discount on your stamp set. And then if you wanna get the framelits for future use, you can. So let me show you. Thank you, Marianne, I appreciate that. So this is our first card, that if flowers were hugs, I'd send you a thousand, so you'd make two of this card, and I do all the die cutting, you do your stamping, right? So make sure if you don't have the stamp set, you need to get the stamp set. So pick one of those options that includes the stamp set. This is the second card. It says, so happy about your happy news with that awesome metallic. I love that ribbon. And then these two are really so much about the designer series paper, right? Simple, simple card layout, just kind of a fun little flower bow detail there. Um, it says thank you. And then the last one, which, oh, I, it's been flattened. I need to like lift him up, right? So another fun one with the designer series paper and the butterfly and kindness changes everything with the fun polka dot tool ribbon. So two of each of those. So today's the last day. Let me know if you're interested. I will be ordering and then cutting, packing, and prepping. They will ship out by September 5th. For sure, because I have the <laughs> customer appreciation event that night. So I will definitely have those all done um, before then. And if you already have the stamp set and frameless and you want to make a substitution, just let me know. We can do that. That's not a problem. Like if you really want the cards, but you already have the other product, we can substitute for other product that you can use for other fun projects. You'll be able to still do your stamping and so on. So let me know if you have any questions or if you're interested in that. Okie dokie, are we ready? Hold on, I gotta just check. Dee 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 dee. <laughs> I feel like, here, you know what? I'll put that there so you guys can jot down that host code if you need that. So while I'm doing a quick check of my notes. Oh, I know what else I wanna show you guys. Yeah, okay. So I think I mentioned that we had our Inkspired Stampers group gathering this week on Tuesday. So bear with me just a sec. Hmm. I'm getting like cotton mouth, so I'm going to move this up a little bit. So yeah, we had our group gathering, and I have to show you guys the make and takes because I was really, really happy with these make and takes. I always am happy, but these, I think because these two, these were two of our make and takes that felt like this stamp set and framelits for me feels really fall-like, and I was saying that at the meeting that we could pre-order these actually back in May. Yeah, in May, which I did, so I ordered the Nature's Roots Framelits, and then the Rudin and Nature Stamp Set. And I kept looking at it feeling like, you know, it looks really fall, wintry. I was having a hard time kind of breaking it out, basically, and playing with it. So I did hold off a little bit. I used it maybe once or twice at a class. But this now, we're kind of moving into fall timeframe. So I thought both of these were great. Um, 
cards that to have on hand. Um, so that's why I really like to supply my downline with um, samples, for example, that they could show their customers so that if they have not invested in the stamp set and framelits already, at least they have some cute projects that they can show and then point out that stamp set and framelits. So this one, if you can see, we actually kind of um, added a little bit of color. We stamped them in creme cake and then we add a little bit of the tranquil tide color around the edges. Um, of the stamps. I love the burlap ribbon. And then this is a piece of that burlap ribbon. I think I showed you guys one other time, right? How to get, because this is thicker, quite a bit, probably two or three times thicker. Thank you, Karen. I appreciate that. Um, this is quite a bit thicker than our linen thread, which sometimes I like something that's a little bit more substantial. So to get this, basically you cut off kind of right along the edge, that seam of this ribbon and then you just peel those layers back and they become these strings, which is so cool, I think. So words are never enough is a sentiment on this one. I love that big tree too. Um, and then here, this was super, super simple. This one, I really wanted to make sure that um, everybody understood one piece of designer series paper when you cut it three inches by four inches, will make 12 cards. So this is a great use of your designer series paper too, and a super simple layout like this with your card base, a little bit of cardstock behind your designer series paper, and then whatever kind of um, sentiment or embellishments you want to use. So two awesome cards. That was two of them that we made, again, using the Nature's Roots Framelits and the Rooted in Nature stamp set. And then we had two I had to give a couple more samples for everybody, again, to be able to show customers, friends, and family. So these were the two that we also made with the, of course, the Blended Season stamp set. Okay, let's see, what is, um, oh, Kim, I'm glad you enjoyed those cards. And Nikki, you're right. I love both of these sets, actually. Now I'm like, which one is she referring to? I don't know. So the Blended Seasons, this is the stamp set that you can only get during the month of August. So we're almost out of time. If you haven't bought it already, there are a million and one ideas on Pinterest and Facebook groups and all over the place. Um, so there's almost no reason not to get this stamp set because then it comes with these awesome framelits too, the Stitched Season Framelits, which I love. If nothing else, I love the labels, the three different sizes of labels that we used, for example, on this card right here, right? This is, um, is that the medium and the large? It is, yep. So this is the largest framelit, that's the medium, and then there's one that's a little bit smaller. And the really cool thing about this stamp set is it lends itself so well to watercoloring in this example. So there are watercolor pencils. I don't even have the new ones yet. I'm still gonna order them before the end of the month, even though um, I won't be able to play with them before probably the end of the month, but that's okay. They said that the, the um, watercolor pencils are should probably be in a future publication, so I'm pretty sure they're gonna be if they're saying that, but um, lots of beautiful colors um, in addition to the ones that we already have. So we used on here, we used uh, Daffodil Delight, Pumpkin Pie, and Real Red to do our watercoloring, and I love, so you just use your watercolor pencil and then kind of use your aqua painter filled with water, um, and you enjoy the watercolor pencils. Me too, Kim. I really, I had a lot of fun. Um, once I watched a couple of videos, Stampin' Up! has some great YouTube videos on how to do watercoloring. One is specifically with this stamp set, which is kind of where I got this idea from. So yeah, so the pencils are beautiful with your aqua painter to kind of help shade and blend things in there. And then we also made this gorgeous card. So can you see, in the, there we go, we embossed the Merry Christmas. This is some of the Under the Mistletoe Designer Series paper that you actually can already order. This is um, Designer Series paper in the annual catalog. Here are a couple of those metallic pearls. Those are the things that we're gonna give away on the next Facebook Live. And then here is, um, let me show you this stamp right here from the Blended Season stamp set, right? So we colored this in with our Stampin' Blends markers. So if I'm gonna try to get really close there so you can kind of see the shading, the light and dark. Um, so the idea was we colored like all of the leaves, the holly leaves in with our light, um, 
old olive marker and then I kind of went back along like the the seam or the vein of each of the leaves with my dark marker and then came back again and blended it in with my light so that kind of creates the light and dark shading and then we just used our real red um, no cherry cobbler it's cherry cobbler is what we used here um, stamp and blends in for the little berries in there but so this is not a huge image so it didn't take very long to color either too but I love both of these, right? So a couple more wonderful examples with the Blended Season stamp set and the Stitched Seasons framelits. You've just got seven more days to order the stamp set and framelits, and then they will not be in a future publication. I'm sure of that because I didn't even mention it. The watercolor pencils will, but the stamp set and framelits are going to be gone soon, so get them while you can, ladies, if you are still wanting those items. Okay. Guess what? We are ready to do our stamping. Um, I think, I think, yep. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my grid paper. Okay, so you guys are gonna laugh. I think I last night was pretty late. I was a little bit loopy at that point. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh, I have a big surprise for you guys. So you're probably gonna laugh at what, so for me it's big because I've been meaning to um, <laughs> do this for a long time. So does anybody have their Stamparatus yet? Um, I've had mine for quite a long time and have not really played with it much at all. So this is my big surprise. You guys are laughing probably, right? That I played with my Stamparatus and I know how to use it now. And I'm gonna show you guys how to use it if you have one and haven't used it. Or maybe you haven't even gotten one yet, but hopefully this will help you understand how to use it and want to get one too. Oh, good. Okay, so Sandra, you are using it and loving it. That is awesome. Good, 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 good. Because I had so much fun. It was one of those, I made a huge project out of it, to be honest, ladies. I had all these notes of, like, I think I would put in my calendar, like, every single week, play with your Stamparatus. And then the list got longer and longer of what that meant. <laughs> oh, let's see, you do but you haven't used it much yet either, yes. So, okay, here, this is my recommendation. Stampin' Up! has, I think, six or seven or eight videos on YouTube that give a lot of kind of basic details and tips and some stamping techniques to use with your Stamparetta. So that was that's why it turned into a project for me because I was like, well, I have to watch all those videos so that I know how to use it, right? So I finally watched them, ladies. I'm so excited. <laughs> Surprise, I finally did it because I've had local customers asking me, you know, have you gotten the Stamparetta yet? Have you played with it? And I'm like, well, I have it, but I haven't done anything <laughs> with it. So I am super excited about this. So let me tell you, I want to give you kind of um, some things that I learned about it and then we're going to do some stamping and then you guys let me know if you have any questions either in the comments right now or if you watch later you can comment later and I will get back to you or you can always message or email me too um, but this is just a wonderful product um, that yeah we are we are using right now and what I will tell you guys is I think probably one of the best things um, reasons to use a Stamparatus is your holiday card making. It's gonna make it so easy to make, you know, like if you make 100 cards, you're gonna be able to stamp and, and get these things, you know, put together, stamped especially, like super quick and easy and lined up perfectly every single time when you use your Stamparatus. So um, before I forget, because I've got my little note here about the super summer giveaway, because we just have one more week of this also. So I've got my big circle here to make sure it says, mention this on Facebook Live this week and every week. You get two entries into the super summer giveaway drawing. Each time you post a picture of a project that you make, like the ones that I demonstrate on Facebook Live. And you just have to put that picture on our Facebook group. So I'm putting that shout out right now. I'm gonna show you the projects in just a couple minutes. And if you make anything, it doesn't, you don't have to use the Stamparatus if you don't have it yet. If you do, we'd love to hear that too. Um, but yeah, then if you make projects like I show you um, and post them, your name is gonna go in the drawing. And I've been, as people have been posting, I've been making my notes and getting your names in the drawing too. So I wanna make sure everybody knows for sure your names are in the drawing for the Super Summer Giveaway. And you are going to win some awesome prizes from our next holiday catalog. That is what the Super Summer Giveaway is. If you're local, other ways, um, 
to get into the Super Summer Giveaway. You get one entry for each event you attend. You got two entries for every $50 you spend. And this is online too. So if you spend online, I've been putting your name in the drawing also. If you bring a new guest to class, you get two entries. If you join a club, like Paper Pumpkin or In Color Club or Simple Beautiful Car Club or Scrapbook Club, you get three entries in the drawing. So there's still time to do that. If you buy the starter kit, you get five entries into the drawing. And if you hold your own private party or class, which we've only got a week, so that would have to be pretty darn quick. Um, but you could get five entries into the drawing, okay? So, all right, enough talking. We are playing with our Stamparatus now. Let's see, let me get myself situated here. I have notes too to make sure that I tell you guys everything I want you to know about this awesome tool. I'm saying new because it's new for me still. So, okay, I think we are gonna just do it here. I keep looking around like, what's the, what are the steps here? What should we do? But I think we're gonna just kind of start out. And um, as the tips come to my mind, we I will tell you about them. Okay, so I've got my ink, I've got my cute stamp set, and then I've got these parts and pieces. Okay, so let me show you. This is the first card that we are going to make. And I have to tell you, I cased this from a gal named Connie Babbert. And she's a gal that I used to follow all the time when I first started. And I kind of lost track of her and I can't even really say why. Um, but I happened to just hop on Pinterest to find some ideas with our Around the Corner stamp set. And she had this super cute card and I thought it lent itself well to demonstrating how to use our Stamparatus. So anyway, thank you, Connie Babbert. I appreciate your inspiration on this card. And I loved, because I hadn't used, this is part of that Best Route suite of products. This is the Best Route Designer Series paper. And then, like I said, the stamping is going to use our Around the Corner stamp set. And this one actually, I wonder if I can find it in the catalog. I don't know if I can or not. Let me, I'm gonna try, because they actually showed uh, let's see, around the corner on page 40. Yep, okay. They referred to this stamp set as a great one to use with your Stamparatus. So here, can you see? Well, here's the around the corner stamp set, if you couldn't see it when I was kind of flashing it before. So there's a cute, this says, you matter, it's your day. And then this, it's your day, layers right over top of that, it's your day. This one sell, it says, celebrate every tiny victory. And then there's a hello to over in the corner. And then with some other fun images to kind of spruce things up. And then down here, so here, this is where they're showing a fun project they made with that stamp set using the Stamparatus. And then they kind of tell you that you can, um, well, what, it, what does it say? To find out more about getting perfect stamp alignment with the Stamparatus, visit page 207. So it's funny, I kind of was, I didn't even do that. What's on page 207? There's probably a bunch of information about this Stamparatus. Maybe that's where you find it in the catalog. Yeah, okay, perfect. Yeah, so here we go. Tools, the Stamparatus. So this one, it'll give you in just that verbiage there, and then there are a couple of steps right here too that give you some more um, kind of how-tos on how to use your Stamparatus. But I still really suggest checking out the Stampin' Up! YouTube channel and watching their videos too. But I'm gonna give you kind of a quick synopsis of what I took away from those videos in how to make this card. Okay, so blah, 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 blah. Here we go, ladies. Let's get our stamping on, okay? All right, so I have a piece of, this is Whisper White cardstock. Oh, Karen says she really likes that stamp set. Yep, you're right. I know it grabbed me too, and then I finally just was able, I have this, so I don't know about you guys, probably do the same thing, right? When you get your new annual catalog, I make like this huge, huge, like pages and pages long list of everything that I want. And then I just slowly kind of tick away at it. So this is one that I got recently that I have wanted, you know, back when I circled everything in the catalog <laughs> that I was going to do. So yeah, one at a time. That's how we all have to do it. Okay, so that, um, here, this is a one thing I want to tell you guys about, right? So we've got these two kind of doors that are on these hinges, and you have to be careful. You cannot press down. You cannot close both of these at the same time. If you press any harder, you're going to break this thing. So this one, I kind of just leave one stored on there, and then the other one can just kind of fit right on top with the hinges over here, okay? So that's one tip to make sure you guys understand, right? So... 
Another tip is, what do I have inside here? I wanna make sure you guys can see everything. Um, well, here, I'll show you. So there's one of the magnets. They get stored right back here. Here's a, a place for a magnet here and a place for a magnet here. You never, ever, ever wanna use both of these at the same time and you also never, ever, ever wanna put both of them on your table because if you have one magnet here and one magnet here, they pull themselves together and I've watched them like kind of shatter and break. I think they did that on one of the videos. So you do not wanna put these magnets anywhere near each other. Basically, use one at a time and if something happens, if you lose one or do happen to break one, this is your backup right here. We do sell them, so if, you know, it's not a big deal. If something happens, you can always buy more, but just, you only need one. So keep keep them both back here when you're not using them, um, but only use one at a time and keep one as like your backup option, okay? Then when we flip this back over, so we're gonna open this guy up and I'm actually gonna move that just over here for now, because I wanna show you what I learned was to use our silicone mat as kind of a shim. Uh, you know, like when you're using the Big Shot and sometimes something doesn't cut all the way through or doesn't emboss as well as you'd like. Some of them are a little bit tighter, some of them are a little bit looser. That's kind of the idea. This is just a shim that you can use in your Stamparatus for photopolymer stamps. They also give you this black foam mat that basically is um, like the foam um, you know, on our red rubber stamps, they have the foam or the cling mount. Well, the photopolymer stamps obviously do not have those. There's no foam or cling mount inside there, right? So this you have to use. And then this is kind of my recommendation to kind of shim things up a little bit more. So those both get put right in the corner like that, right? Then our Whisper White cardstock that measures three inches by three inches. We're going to put that flush right up in the corner and then I'm going to put my magnet right there to hold it in place. Okay, so now basically I've got my stamp that says it's your day and I'm just going to, oops, I was doing this so much the other day um, when I was playing with this. Okay, so you just lay it down where you want it to be on your card, right? Then you flip your door down and you pick it up. Okay, now that, you see how when I pick this up, those photopolymer stamps are kind of sticky, so it might move your paper. Just move it back, that's easy enough. The other trick that I'm gonna tell you guys about is to have either your stamp case or I've got my sham, my chamois, simply chamois right here. It is kind of helpful to put this back underneath there because then it makes this surface level so that when you go to ink it up, you tend to get a little bit less ink like all over the door. It makes it a little bit flatter and easier. Okay, so I have my blueberry bushel ink pad and I'm just gonna kinda nice and easy tap all over. And you can see I've already got an ink right there. Not a big deal. That's another reason why I have my chamois handy though because then I can wipe that off when I'm done. Okay, so I've got my, my stamp. I've got it inked up and now basically I just flip it down and I'm only gonna press on the stamp. I'm not pressing anywhere else. There's no cardstock here and I really don't think that ink would come off even if you did press because it's, you know, there's quite a distance between the stamp and the paper. And then you lift up and voila! So can you guys imagine? And actually it looks like maybe I needed a little bit more ink right there. So let's do that. So we're gonna just kind of ink up that day Part right down there. It looks like I wanted a little bit more of that. So hopefully this is good, right? So my cardstock didn't move. Pop that back down. I think I maybe needed to apply a little more pressure right there. Yes, look at that. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It worked. It's one of those like, oh, I hope this works. So that's one of the best things about it is if it doesn't stamp well, ink it back up again and then flip it down. And then I just didn't press quite hard enough. They said that is one thing that a lot of times people don't press. You know, you don't want to use the, uh, like the full body weight stamping, but you do want to press pretty evenly all around. You know, when you flip this down, press pretty well on that, right? Okay, so now I'm going to move my magnet. I'm going to move him kind of right up there because, actually here. All right, let's do this. We're going to grab our chamois, and I love to just kind of use this. It's almost like my little... Um, I don't know, like I'm cleaning the dishes or something, right? So I'm just gonna clean everything off. Let me move to a different place because that's got quite a bit of ink right on it there. Okay, so you can see how easy that is to clean. 
But this was my other point was, can you imagine um, making Christmas cards? So, you know, you're doing your Christmas card and you've already cut your cardstock and you ink it and you stamp and then you put another piece in and ink it and stamp. You could just go to town very quickly and easily. Okay, so now we're gonna lift this door up and we're gonna flip it and pop the hinges back in, right? Now we are going to grab our little piece right here for our candle, right? So I'm gonna put him, I keep doing that. Okay, so you guys need to know that, right? This needs to go down so that it actually stamps on your paper, right? <laughs> Mary Ann says, yay. I know, it was pretty exciting that that worked well, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, and the other thing that's a little funny is um, these photopolymer stamps because they're a little sticky. <laughs> you just have to like, um, I'm being extra careful here because I really want to make sure it gets lined up nicely. They move, right? So just get it where you want and then try to get your fingers away without um, <laughs> moving everything too much. Okay, so I'm pressing down there. And again, that might have moved a little bit, but I'm going to get it right back in place. And now we want some of our gray granite cardstock. I'm going to pop that guy back under, or not cardstock, but ink, right? Oh, I see. I got to move that. That happened the other day too. So just move that out a little bit more because that stamp was kind of getting in the way there. Okay, my gray granite ink. Open this one up. Hi, Susie. How are you? Hope you're having a good Friday, a good end of summer, right? Okay, so I'm inking this up kind of nice and easy. And one thing also that I noticed was if I flip it about right here, I can check to make sure I really got it inked well. And if it's all inked up, great. If not, you can flip it back open and add a little more ink. So before you even put it down on your paper, okay? But you can see I'm just pressing right over my stamp. I'm not pressing anywhere else. And I'm pressing pretty firmly. The other thing to know is the closer you get to the hinges and especially the corner, the more you have to press, which makes sense, right? If you're stamping way down here, there's more kind of oomph or room for give than there is right up front there. Now I might have a little something on my stamp, I feel like, because that looks a little, eh, but I think it's gonna be okay, because I'm afraid with those little lines, something funny might happen. So we're gonna keep it like that. And then, where's my other door? Okay, so now, you guys can still see this, right? So I'm gonna get my other door right here, and I'm gonna put him up there, and I'm actually gonna move I'm gonna move my magnet back down here, right? Okay, so now we're going to do our stamping with our little firecracker is what it looks like to me, right? Okay, so we're gonna put him right on here. And you're gonna see, he's gonna be pretty close to the top of the paper and to that hinge. So we're gonna wanna press pretty firmly after we get it inked up, right? Okay, so we've got that one there. We're lifting him up. I am going to scoot this over here so it helps me level it up to ink it again. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's see. Now this one I have Mango Melody ink, okay? So I'm just going to ink up my little firecracker guy right there, okay? And hi Bernice, how are you? Hope everything's good with you over on the west side of the state. Okay, so there's one. Right now, I'm gonna use my chamois because I need to clean him off. I'm gonna stamp him again, okay? So I'm cleaning him off just a little bit. Well, not a little bit, but a lot. And I'm gonna lay him back down and I want him kind of angled. And this is not super precise. You just put it about where you want it, flip it back down, press on it to pick your stamp back up. Make sure your paper didn't move and then re-ink. So I'm going slow in the beginning to show you guys how to do this, but you can see how kind of quick and efficient you could get at stamping, especially if you're doing the multiples. I just love that idea. So that's it, ladies, basically, right? So we did our first set of stamping. Um, I'm checking my card to make sure. Yeah, so now we can build everything and put it together. I am gonna actually, cause we need to use this again. So I'm gonna clean that one off there. And I'm gonna clean that and I'm gonna clean that. Cause I wanna get these stamps off cause we're gonna use it again on our next project in just a moment after we put this guy together. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna put him underneath there. We're gonna peel these guys off and I just like to kind of put them right back on here for now to get it out of the way. Oops, 
That's funny. I do a lot of that, trying to pull that off, and I'm, I'm on the wrong side. <laughs> you know, it's just how it is sometimes, ladies. Okay, so I'm going to pull this guy out. And again, do not close this all the way, right? I'm going to lift him up and just put him just like that. And normally I would put that magnet back, but we're going to stamp in just a sec, so I'm going to leave him there for now. Okay? All right, so let me close these things up. Got to close my ink pads up so we don't get ink all over everything because it will happen otherwise. You know that. Okay, so let me give you dimensions. This was three by three, right? This is a piece of blueberry bushel cardstock that we're going to layer underneath our three by three, three and one quarter by three and one quarter. So that is going to go right on there like that. You guys can see that, right? Yep. And then this is a piece of that Best Route Designer Series paper. So this is the gray granite. Almost kind of looks like that, doesn't it? Right? This piece measures two and a half by five and one quarter. And then a little piece of Mango Melody cardstock that measures one and a quarter by four inches. And then our card base, right? As always, this is an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. Always, always start with our eight and a half by 11 cardstock. We cut it in half at five and a half inches, and then we scored it in half at four and a quarter inches to make our nice crisp fold on our card, okay? So now we can just pop everything together. So again, you can see if you wanted to make a whole bunch of, these would be a great um, like birthday invitation. That wasn't running very well, there we go. Um, so yeah, if you had, um, like a little kid birthday that you wanted to make invitations for, this would be a great stamp set that you could use for that. Okay, so we're gonna get a few dimensionals, pop these on the back here, all right, and add some more adhesive to build the rest of our card. Pop this one there on our gray granite card base. Right? I love this color combination. This is perfect for like a little boy birthday or a young boy maybe, or maybe older boy. I don't know, right? So this one we are going to layer maybe right about there. Okay, and then last, almost last up. Not quite because I have another fun little bit to show you guys. So let's see. This one we can layer right about there. And then, you like the DSP? Oh, stamp set's cute. Yes, Marianne, I agree. And then, yeah, this is really growing on me. It's funny, because there was another friend that commented that she didn't really like it. But this, the colors, so it's our pineapple punch, gray granite, mango melody, and blueberry bushel. And yeah, I just think it's a really fun color combination. And then do you guys remember, it was either last week or the week before that we gave away the best route enamel shapes for the comments and shares? So these were all the fun shapes. You got like the markers and the little um, circles and then the stars and the arrows. So we put one of these fun, can you see the little blueberry bushel um, stars? We just put one right in the middle there and it kind of finishes it off because it's a little chaotic right in the middle there but i think now isn't that awesome so you can see how well that stamparatus helps you stamp and line everything up and then if it didn't work out well you can always re-ink and re-stamp so that's probably one of the best parts i would say for the stamparatus is the lining up one and then if you don't get it inked well the first time you can do it again and then three the multiples if you want to make a bunch of something makes it super fast and easy to do that so very cool, huh, ladies? Okay, I've got a couple more things to show you. So let's see, I always have to get a little bit tidied up and make sure that I told you, here, we'll pull this back in view, right? So you can see that while I'm checking my notes, you know me and my notes, right? Um, yep, talked about that. Okay, I'll mention that next time. Pressure, okay, I got a couple more things I can tell you guys about when we're doing the next one, but I have to show you. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Let's see that you didn't even give this a look. In. <laughs> I hear you. So here's another. If you liked that card, I think you're really going to like this one too. This one I made a YouTube video on and it will be uploaded shortly to YouTube. So again, it uses that same stamp set. We did the little swirls there and there. And then can you see how we layered the It's Your Day on top of itself? And with that Stamparatus, it made it super easy to get everything lined up. Plus, we embossed vellum, which is my new absolute favorite. I'm calling it a technique, even though it's probably not, but 
I love that. The vellum and then emboss it because it gives it such a cool texture. So watch for that card on YouTube also, step-by-step. Step. More um, details on how to use your um, Stamparatus on there too on this um, video also. Okay, so last card I'm gonna show you guys. And don't forget, if you make a card, you do not have to use the Stamparatus if you have it though, right? That's awesome. Oh, thank you, Karen. I'm glad you like that balloon card. Um, but use this basic layout. Uh, put a card together and put it on our Facebook group and your name goes in the drawing for the Super Summer Giveaway. You get two entries for every picture you post and you have a week left to do it. So, okay, here is our next card and this is one, okay, I have to show you. So this is what I'm gonna, this is what I'm gonna show you today, but I wanna show you what I made like way back when. I think this actually, this stamp set came out in our occasions catalog, like at the beginning of this year. So, you know, a little while ago, right? So this was a card, I think I made it as a swap card, right? And this congratulations actually uses two different colors. It is old olive and um, I think it was pear pizzazz, which do we still have? I can't even remember. I don't think we have that car, car, color anymore. But here, these were some attempts because I didn't have my Stamparatus yet, right? So this one just, and I'll show you in a sec, it's two different stamps that kind of line up to do the light and dark there. You could, so this one did the light and dark and then try to do the outline, but can you see I got it lined up well there and then something major happened on at this end. This was just me kind of freehand trying to stamp, right? And then same thing with this one, like it just didn't work out so well. The outlining was really hard. Um, so with your Stamparatus, it would be super, super simple to do the lining up. And I'm gonna show you guys that. There, yeah, look at, there were quite a few attempts that did not work out very well. So <laughs> Stamparatus will help you make these sorts of projects very easily. So let me get everything we need for this card. And actually we need that blueberry bushel ink again. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So I don't know about you ladies, but I suffer from what my mom always called hay fever. <laughs> and in the last day or two, the hay fever um, has kind of started. It's, it's not really dry. We've actually gotten a ton of rain around here. Um, but sorry, I think I just bumped something. So that was kind of wiggling a little bit. Yeah, but oh my goodness. I'm like feeling the effects and will for the next few weeks to month or so. Um, sneezing, itchy eyes, all that good stuff, right? Okay, so let's give you dimensions. This is a super simple card to make and then we'll do our stamping. So this is a piece of um, Bermuda Bay cardstock, right? We cut it in half at five and a half inches, right? And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it in half at four and a quarter inches. Right, to make our cord. What is, oh, you like the cards. Thank you, Susie, I appreciate that. Okay, then we have a piece of lemon lime twist cardstock that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. And then our other layer of Whisper White that we're gonna do our stamping on measures three and three quarters by five inches. Okay, so let's grab our Stamparatus again. Where did I put it? Right here, okay. We're gonna put this guy here. I'm actually gonna move these things out of the way. And we are gonna use our, um, let's see, I'm gonna move this one out of the way too because I don't think I need it just yet. But this is something called hinge stamping too. So I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. So I'm gonna put my Whisper White cardstock right up here in the corner. I've got my magnet to hold my cardstock in place. I am using, this is the amazing congratulations stamp set. So I probably should have showed you this in the beginning because maybe it would make a little more sense. So can you see how you would layer all three of these? So that's what gives it kind of the different colors there with essentially the blue and the green or the, the Bermuda Bay and Lemon Lime Twist. You stamp this one right here in Bermuda Bay and then this one in Lemon Lime Twist. Oh, let's see. Oh, you're right, Marianne. I know, it, it, it's possible, but it doesn't always look the greatest. That's why I kind of cheated <laughs> before I had my Stamparatus when I made this one, and I used two different color greens that were pretty similar, so I think there was a little more forgiveness um, if you didn't stamp it quite right. So it's possible, but it doesn't work out quite as well. So yeah, this is an awesome, so super cute stamp set too, and you've got lots of 
things you can say congratulations on your new one on your new little one to the happy couple you couldn't be more amazing you deserve every good thing congratulations on your big news and to my friend and then they've got these little confetti and little scrolly things there so yeah just an awesome stamp set that carried over which is so cool right from our occasions catalog to our annual catalog so if you didn't get it um, earlier this year it's still available so that you can get it right okay so our whisper white cardstock oops I put my stamp set away and I need to I need to have it out so we can actually do our stamping okay so I've got my first piece right here and again flip it over so it's gonna be stamped so this one's we're gonna be way up at the top we are gonna want to use quite a bit of pressure when we that looks lined up right when we go to stamp that so I'm using quite a bit of pressure to get it on my door there okay that paper just always moves I bet I haven't tried it with red rubber but I bet it doesn't move as much with red rubber these photopolymer are just kind of sticky right so um, a couple other things that I have kind of oops you know what I forgot is my little we got to put this thing underneath here right there make that a little bit easier to ink it up right so I'm just using kind of a light touch one of the things that I love this idea is if you're a paper pumpkin subscriber you know you get the little baby ink spots and how easy it is because this is a little cumbersome right to use this big ink pad to ink that stamp up if you have your little stamping spots just flip those over and much easier to ink up your stamp right so you have to subscribe to paper pumpkin so you can get your little ink spots so you can use your stamp apparatus see how it all works so well together right okay so this one again make sure you apply enough pressure that has definitely been the mistake people make is not applying enough pressure okay and lift up right so hinge step stamping now we lift it up we move it down one hinge we open it or uh, flip it there ink it back up and stamp it again right and you can see I don't know maybe you can't but I have a little bit of ink on my um, door here in some places but that really should never transfer down to the cardstock because um, you're not pressing that hard you know that it would get all the way down there right um, oh Marianne that's cute <laughs> well I might have done a lot of them too you never know how many you, you she said I did an amazing job with, without using the stamparatus <laughs> yeah <laughs> I might have I might have had quite a few attempts too. I didn't tell you how many attempts I had before that came out well. Okay, so there we've got that stamped three times. So just ink and stamp all three times so you can see. I love that hinge step stamping, right? Now, oh my gosh, I have ink all over my fingers and then I keep like, when I touch my face, I'm like, how much ink do I have on my face now too? <laughs> Good thing you guys can't see me, right? Okay, so we're gonna close up our Bermuda Bay ink next we are going to let's see let's flip this over and I am gonna grab where's my I'm gonna grab this guy just so it doesn't peek through so you can wash these too you know just right in your sink a little bit of mild soap and water probably want to do that after you do quite a bit of stamping like when you make your hundred Christmas cards probably gonna want to kind of clean that off right okay next we are gonna use our other stamp the other half of our congratulations now this one so oops let's make sure that's in the corner okay and then we're going to use our magnet okay now this one requires a little bit of care because the first time i did it i didn't have it lined up and it's a little um you know it's not super easy to tell but i think that looks pretty good right okay so now we're gonna Flip that down to pick it up and it moved but that's all right just pop it right back in place now we're gonna use lemon lime twist ink okay and we are going to ink this guy up yeah this will be the reason why I don't do Facebook live next week because I'll probably be sneezing every five seconds okay hopefully not but okay I think we're good okay 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 so we inked it up now we're gonna press down oh my gosh I hope this works <laughs> the pressure all right yes it worked good 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 okay now we are gonna lift it up move it down one hinge 
and ink this up again. I love this. You could create so many different patterns with this. Oh, and I'm feeling, okay, I'm gonna have to move that magnet on the next one for sure. It's gonna be in the way, right? Okay, so we're gonna flip that around. You wanna be a little bit careful. I did smear one time, so I'm kind of trying not to go right over um, the color that I just stamped, right? Okay, so move down one more hinge, ink it up again. Sorry, I've got my sniffly nose now. Woo. Okay, hold it in, hold it in. And I think that was inked up well enough, so we're gonna pop that one down. All right. Looking good, ladies. Okay, now the last step is one more little stamp. And I'm gonna grab my other door again. Okay, and that magnet should be in a good place. Actually, where's my clear? Okay, we're gonna move this guy from over here to over there, right? Now, what does this say? You deserve every good thing. I really liked that. Congratulations, you deserve every good thing. Wouldn't it be fun to get a card that said that, right? Okay, so we're gonna put that down. Oh, keeps grabbing my, my sticky photopolymer stamp. That's okay, it's worth it because this card is so cute. All right, we are gonna use our blueberry bushel ink this time. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's amazing what makes a stamper excited. You are not kidding, Marianne. It's usually the little things, like people kind of laugh, right? Do you get laughed at much? I get laughed at quite a bit. Okay, could you see that? So I just inked this up. That's not in the view, is it? Okay, so I just inked that guy up again. There's not, this is, there's not enough room. My video space is not big enough. Okay, but just ink that up like I have been with the little clear case behind it. The you deserve every good thing. Look at how beautiful that stamp too. It's like so precise. You deserve every good thing. Yay! So how about that? Hi Mary, how are you? I haven't seen you for a while. I hope you're good. Um, the only other comment that I learned about and I have not really had a problem, so I haven't really worried too much about it, but they have said, you know, when you stamp up in the corners and right near um, the hinges, you have to press a little bit harder. Or they even suggested stamping kind of down in this area, maybe kind of in the bottom two thirds, because it's a, um, you maybe get a little bit better pressure in your stamping. What they were doing was they actually would take a piece of grid paper, cut it to this size, put their cardstock down, and then they would make like little kind of marks so that the paper would fit right in that area. That way when you picked it up, if it moved a little bit, you could move it right back between those little hash marks almost and then keep stamping. So that's really, I'm, I was checking my notes, but I think that's really the only other thing that I didn't tell you guys about. So that's the basic idea. I am gonna kind of move these. You know what, I'm, because I'm anal, I have to like clean this off a little bit before I move it out of the way or I'm, I think it's gonna get ink all over this pad and you don't really wanna do that, right? So I'm gonna clean this off just a little bit so you can see just kind of nice easy pressure to get these things cleaned off, right? I'm gonna take my magnet out of the way and I'm gonna lift this guy up. You guys can see that, right? Oh good, I'm glad you're doing well, Mary. That's awesome to hear. And then this magnet, I'm gonna put right back down in there. And you can see like, wow, th these really are powerful magnets. And that's what helps hold everything in place too. Okay, so I'll take those off later, but that is the basic idea with the Stamparatus. Now let's finish up our card. You wanna, ladies? Okay, move my, look at how I've used this. I've loved my Simply Shammy. I have been using it all the time. Okay, where's the rest of my stuff here? So this one's really simple now. From this point, we are gonna add our Lemon Lime Twist cardstock to our Bermuda Bay card base, just kind of at an angle. I like to just kind of offset these a little bit. I'm gonna add some more adhesive on our Whisper White piece and pop him right on there. Another little kind of just at a fun angle, right? And then I'm gonna grab my linen thread and I just tied this around a couple times. Oh, let's see, what is Sandra saying? Um, I saw where someone laminated a seven by seven grid paper, yes. Yes, that's a really good idea, Sandra. So what she's talking about is on here, 
You know how I was saying to put a piece of paper down and then you could make little hash marks. So they probably didn't even do that. They just remembered, you know, at what line they, they put their cardstock on. So yeah, laminate a seven by seven piece of grid paper. Very good tip. Thank you. That's awesome. I love that idea. Especially if you have a laminator, right? Okay, so I like to kind of do this. This is my linen thread. Hey, can you see where's the, here's the difference too. So this is the difference between our linen thread. Can you see how much thinner this piece is than when you pull apart the burlap ribbon? This is probably two or three times thicker, I would say. I don't know if you can see that in the camera very well, but yeah, I love just a little bit more substantial. This one works great on this card because I don't want to distract too much from all my stamping. I just wanted to add a little bit of texture with this linen thread. So I'm just gonna wrap that around a couple of times and we can move it where we want. <laughs> this thing, I always feel like this cardboard thing's flying all over the place when I'm trying to make these bows with this linen thread. Okay, yeah. All right, so we're gonna tie our bow. I just wrapped it around two times, tying our bow now. Okay. Oh my gosh, this stuff's all over the place, right? Okay, so I like to kind of put my finger down and then pull my bow to the size that I want it, the little ears, I guess I should say, right? Okay, we're gonna scoot him over kind of carefully. You don't wanna rip your cardstock, so just kind of nice and easy. I'm gonna move that along a little bit. I'm gonna grab my paper snips and kind of snip these off. Look at my fingers. <laughs> You can tell I've been having fun playing, right ladies? Okay, that little bow. So only on the lives do I spend this much time. You know, when you do it and no one's watching, they come out beautifully every time. Okay, so last step is, these are the Share What You Love Artisan Pearls and I just love. So we're gonna use this kind of a minty green. I thought it was just kind of a fun little accent. We're just gonna put a couple of those little babies right next to our congratulations, you deserve every good thing, with those cute little artisan pearls. So, oops, sorry, I just moved stuff out of the way and I kind of bonked the camera too. I hope you enjoyed this project, I hope you enjoyed this card too, and I hope you enjoyed the Stamparatus. And hopefully I gave you some tips or things to think about, um, ways to use your Stamparatus or kind of ways to make life a little bit easier. I am loving, it. it's just silly how long it took me <laughs> to be able to uh, play with that Stamparatus, but I'm so happy I did, and I'm so happy I was able to share it with you guys today. So thank you so much for watching. Quick recap, make sure if you are interested in purchasing any of the products that we use to make these cards, or if you want to get that Blended Seasons bundle before it goes, um, before the end of August, if you want to get your bonus days coupons, any of that, make sure you use this host code right here when you order at least $30 online. By next Wednesday, you're going to get these two projects that I demonstrated for you. And your name goes in the drawing to win the, what is this, the Seasoned with Kindness stamp set, right? If you bump your order up to $50, you always get that free embellishment in your thank you card, plus you're gonna get the $5 bonus day coupon. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys were inspired today. I hope you had a great day. Thank you, everyone. I love all your kind words. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. And please make sure you share the video with everyone that you know. I'd love to, like I said, reach out to more people and share it with you know everyone that we know. So thank you for, so much for watching, and we'll see you guys soon. And like I said, if we don't do Facebook Live next Friday, we'll be back on for the following Friday. So I'll keep you posted on the plan. So thank you so much, everybody. Have a good weekend. Bye.